So recently, it would seem to an observer, like in America, politically, we've been working through some stuff. <laughs> and I can't help but notice that as we do work through this stuff, that we have a lot of people both on the right and on the left who are passionately fighting for what we believe in. And that's a beautiful thing to passionately fight for what we believe in. But I also can't help but notice that nobody is listening to anyone. The moment the people we don't like open their mouths, we are immediately in attack mode, trying to figure out why exactly they're wrong and why they're so stupid and we're so right. And we're facing a lot of very real issues in this country. And my biggest fear above all of it is that we can't actually solve any of those issues when we're so caught up in the fight. It's like, you know that point in a fight with a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife where it's no longer about whatever it was about and you just want to punch every word that comes out of their mouth? That's where our country's at right now. And I'm afraid we're too busy bickering to fix much of anything. That we're too concerned with being right to do what's right. That we're too busy calling each other names to acknowledge each other's suffering. And I know this is coming from a white man who could not possibly understand what it's like to be discriminated against, for every word, action, and glance to be influenced by the color of my skin, to have generations of discrimination riddled in every inch of the system that we live in. And I know this is coming from a New York City kid who couldn't possibly know a thing about how the rest of America lives about living in a town that's been turned upside down by so many years of the establishment polishing its crown, about having our livelihoods turned inside out while the media laughs about how you racist, sexist, ignorant clowns are dragging our country's culture down. I couldn't possibly understand how infuriating it is to feel like second-class citizens living in a land that doesn't care about them. But I do know a thing or two about changing people's minds and I think you'd be hard pressed to find anyone convinced of anything by being patronized and dehumanized. You might be able to make somebody quiet down and toe a line, but all you're doing deep inside is feeding the beast that waits and lies until it has the chance to sink its teeth between your eyes. I'm scared we don't actually care about each other's perspectives. I'm scared that you just want to impose your worldview on those who don't agree with you. I'm scared that in a time where our realities are defined by algorithms that are personalized, we don't want to take the time to leave what we believe behind. I'm scared that as it's become so easy to share, we've forgotten how to listen. I'm scared that we care more about winning than listening when the only path to victory for anyone is listening if victory isn't conquering but reconciling our differences and victory isn't conquering, it's reconciling our differences. I'm scared that it's become so easy to instigate our animal brains with rhetoric and headlines that sound insane, that there's too much profit to be made and power to be gained for media or politicians to do anything but fan these flames. So I'm afraid that we've approached this point of rage where the fight itself is all consuming. And to the right side, the left side is the wrong side of everything. And to the left side, the right side is the wrong side of everything. When honestly, when was the last time any of us was right about everything? Underneath these kicks and screams, all sides want peace. But that train is left, right? Now we've got some angry bodies marching in the streets like left, 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 right, left. Feels like the left feels this sense of righteousness and wants to right the right while the right thinks the left forgot why our founding fathers write those rights right. Religious right trying to guide the left towards the Lord's white light while the left wonders how the right can sleep at night. But hey, there's no convincing a man of God he doesn't know what's right, right? If only he could be exposed to city life, right? Where cultures intertwine in better harmony while we leave human beings freezing in the streets, right? But how could those racist, sexist hicks be so naive, right? And how disconnected could those leftists freaking be, right? And could someone please tell me, like, what do we actually accomplish as we fight? Can we stop swinging and address the gaping bleed, eh? When our back's against the ropes and the world we've come to know is fading to the distance as our eyes are forced to close, we have this opportunity to count to 10. This time to stop and breathe again, a brief moment of peace again. Maybe we should breathe it in 
And remember then that as two boxers get too close to hit each other, they hug each other. And not because they love each other, but because when two people get too close, it becomes too hard to strike each other. It's hard not to smell the humanity on one another. It's confusing to see our reflection in our enemy's eyes. Helps us start to recognize where our actions might be misaligned with the identities that we've defined. When we let the fight take us over, we become unjust in our fight for justice. It's just this fight till someone's left bloodless. We create imbalance in our fight for equality. We see quality only where we want to see. We silence each other in our fight to be heard, as though beliefs could be changed by censoring each other's words. You know that point in a fight with a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, where it's no longer about whatever it was about, and you just want to punch every word that comes out of their mouth? It's where our country's at right now. And I'm afraid that we're going to keep fighting right up until there's nothing left. But we've got this really great piece of land together, We've got these kids together. Maybe we can try and hear each other out. Thank you.